Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing? Good. All right. Welcome. Um, so my name is Gloria, and over here we have Jen. We are the coordinators of the PASS program here at George Washington. And for those of you who don't know what PASS is, it is a college and career prep program here for 11th and 12th grade students. And for um, in junior year, for the PASS program, we do a service learning project, um, which this group of 11th grade students has been working really hard on. They've had to, they've done a lot of research on really important issues in their communities. Um, and so that's what they're going to be presenting on today. I want to give you guys a warm welcome. We're going to be starting off um, with Desiree, who's going to be um, doing a poem. So Desiree, why don't you come on up? So this is a poem that I wrote. Um, From the city of brotherly love, where brothers kill more than we love. When all of our young men are so focused on being thugs and selling drugs, where our women search high and low for love but settle for dust. We are all focused on being higher. All, all, uh. We are so focused on being in higher authority and making it out of the jungle, so we kick each other and watch each other fumble. But what we don't know is that we will all crumble. What we don't know is that we need one another, regardless of the skin color or the religion. And we should rely on one another and not watch each other suffer. A woman shouldn't have to feel the hurt of hearing that her son was killed by a cop or that a stray bullet came flying down a block and one of our own had been shot. Or seeing our mothers die from drugs sold by our men, these so-called thugs. When will, the killing, when will we stop killing, killing each other? Whether it be with the drugs or the guns, when will we learn that we need one another? We are all brothers and sisters, just raised by different mothers. group will present today their project why each is an issue or a problem uh, supporting data slash interesting survey data target community um, purpose solution and what steps have been taken and what action steps have been taken to solve their problems uh, my name is Keon and this is Amani and Daika and our topic is lack of resources okay hello guys my name is Desiree and this is Renoy and Anthony <laughs> Um, and we are lack of exposures to opportunities. Hi, I am Shivam. These are our group member Govinda and Robin. So today we are going to present about discrimination. These are stories of our, uh, of our peers. My name is Regine. This is Vlad, Nadira, and Johanna. And we will be talking about peer pressure. Здравствуйте, дорогие друзья. Меня зовут Валерия. My name is Abraham. I'm doing a presentation on discrimination and my experience. Lack of resources is a problem for individuals who are trying to receive an education and, uh, and obtain a job. The language barrier is a problem around the world. People cannot communicate with each other if they don't share the common language. Language barrier can prevent getting a job, a home, traveling, or even adopting a child. What we found that keeps people away from opportunities were things like lack of connections, um, education, population, and health. The closed doors. The closed doors are persons that they do, the doors that are closer on um, opportunities that we can get. At first, we sent out 26 surveys to the students of George Washington High School. When we got them back, we couldn't identify any good data. So we came up with new surveys with new questions. It's, it's the research that most students value, then friends, government, and other. And according to 
Lauren Shearman, peer pressure has played a critical role in teens. Discrimination prevents our society from accepting differences and learning about other people. Um, the discrimination is um, a really big um, global, worldwide disease. People think that peer pressure rates are so high because they want to fit in. We ask those students, why do you need these resources? And majority of the students are said for all of the above, which is family, health care, purchase food, purchase food, get a job, and pay bills. Then we ask, how do you feel when you gave in to peer pressure? Some people say humiliated, helpless, depressed, and even hunted. Graph on the right side shows that how often people feel discriminated by their race. According to the study done by CLB Fisher at Fort Fordham um, University, uh, at least half of African American and Hispanic youth are reported they are they were hassled by store personnel viewed as dangerous or perceived as not smart because of authentic prejudice. We also ask, do you think? I like resources, affects exposure opportunities, and majority of them said yes. Um, supporting data. We surveyed 153 people in Northeast Philadelphia, including George Washington High School. 53.64% of people say that they are being discriminated by race. 39.74% say that they are discriminated by their religion. And 37.75% say that they would comfort someone discriminated against someone else. solution to this would be creating an in-school program that would allow students or young teens to have opportunities that they would not be able to receive outside of school or would not be able to find. By creating awareness or in the community about this issue, by giving out interviews or asking people for their perspective, their opinion about the cause, or use a podcast which we made to show, uh, to support our data. It starts young, it starts preschool, it starts elementary, it started, you know, when I was young. And if we teach our, like, younger people, young ones, and people growing up, they'll develop into better people, people that understand and accept the differences, and eventually we can all grow in a better generation and millennium. I want, I want to go back <laughs> to my elementary school to talk to the kids about my experience. Because I feel like my experience could touch a lot of people that went to that school. Because I know um, a lot of other people that um, are different races and speak different languages are experiencing that right now. Um, Some of the ways that you could do that is through social media. We contacted with more than five organizations that offer help in English, Russian, Spanish, and Polish. We can make people aware by talking, posters, flyers, the internet, social media, etc. We're going to be talking to the principal for approval, talk to teachers, talk to students. Get a space reserved. Contact the advisor of NHS, present proposal to NHS advisor. Hand out flyers to let teachers know what the program is about. Our action steps taken would be get permission from the principal, which we already have done. We also have a room, which would be room 157. Also, we have created an application. We planned a call-out meeting Tuesday, and we had seven attended, and seven also took applications. We created flyers. Also, we have a speaker coming in on June 6th. Create a program that will allow us to go out and talk to seven eighth graders about peer pressure. Schedule a time to talk in the um, elementary school classroom, come up with topics to discuss. Um, the students' awareness of discrimination, um, I wanted to talk to them to make sure that they're aware. They're going to start an after-school club uh, to help other people to learn languages and overcome the barrier. 